Hi everyone, how are you doing? So welcome to the first lecture in this particular section, Traffic Operations. So in this lecture, we are going to uh, talk about some basic concepts. So first thing we'll talk about spot speed. So what is a spot speed? So just assume that this is a road that you see over here and the observer is standing on the road. So suppose observer is standing over here and this is the line of observation. So observer is uh, looking at the vehicle, whichever is crossing this particular line. All right. So what he's trying to observe is the instantaneous speed of the vehicle. So for example, if we see the vehicle just crossed, right? And when the vehicle crossed, the observer notices the instantaneous speed of the vehicle when it was just crossing the line. So that is called as nothing but spot speed. So now let's move on to the next concept, which is running speed. So in running speed, for example, uh, a vehicle is over here, as you can see in the starting and it moves on and in between this it stops maybe due to congestion or maybe it has some work the driver has some work so it stops in between and again it resumes its journey and ends its journey at another location so this was the journey first it starts then it stops in between and then again it resumes its journey and ends at a particular location so the running speed is telling uh, is talking about the average speed of the vehicle only when it is in motion so for example, what, how can we calculate it? So uh, the distance, we'll calculate the distance between the starting point and the middle point where it stops in between. And again, the distance between middle point and the end point, and we'll divide with the time only when it was in motion. We will not take into account the time uh, when it stopped in between. So we got only the running time of the vehicle. And therefore we got this, therefore we call this speed as running speed. So again, let's move on to the next speed which is called as journey speed so again you, you might see that this diagram looks similar as uh, running speed isn't it so here also vehicle is starting over here and then it stops in between and again it resumes its journey and then stops at the end point but here the difference only lies with in what time are you taking in order to calculate the speed so here you will be taking the entire time so you will be also including the time in which the vehicle has stopped in between so clearly the journey speed will be always less than or equal to running speed because here you're also taking into the time when the vehicle stopped in between due to congestion or because of any work it has so the numerator will be the distance as usual as running speed like it the starting point till the middle point and middle point till the end point but in the denominator we will have the entire time that is from where the when the journey started till the when till when the journey ended right but in the running speed we know that we will remove that time when it stopped in between so this is the difference between uh, the three things like spot speed then your uh, uh, running speed and the journey speed so let's move on there is some more thing that i want to tell you this is a very important concept so please pay attention to it there's something called as time in speed so what happens uh, again you are standing on the ground and uh, there is a there are vehicles flowing on and you're observing the vehicles when it crosses a particular line like the red line that you see over here so suppose vehicles are moving like that so what you notice you notice the spot speeds of individual vehicles yeah? like you you notice the spot speed of the pink vehicle the green vehicle and the orange vehicle and then you take the average of it so this will give you nothing but the time mean speed so the time mean speed is uh, as you might notice that to uh, to get the timing speed you need to stand on the ground along with the vehicles and then only you can observe it but there is something else which is called as space mean speed so here what is happening uh, again um, the vehicles are moving just like the previous case but here instead of observing it from the ground you are observing it from a height maybe you are on a helicopter or you are on a high ra high rise building and you are observing it from a height and from there you are maybe uh, taking a photo maybe you took a picture of the entire roadway uh, and at that particular when you took that picture so in that picture if you find out the individual speeds of each of the vehicles and divide it by the total number of vehicles that will give you something called a space mean speed so what is the difference between time mean speed and space mean speed first is the point of observation in time mean speed you are uh, observing it from the ground in space mean speed you are observing it from a height and then second is the way you are observing it in space mean speed you are you are observing it at an instant you are taking a picture and you are observing it at 
a particular instant of time you're finding out all the speeds of the vehicles and then you're averaging it by the number of vehicles but in time in speed you are f observing it at a in at a particular position so the position is uh, fixed and from that position whenever the vehicle are pass vehicle is passing that particular position you are just noting its speed and taking the average so in space mean speed you are taking an instantaneous uh, you are taking the observation at an instant of time at time in speed you are taking an observation at a particular location so just pay attention to it it's uh, very uh, little it uh, means it might be confusing but uh, it's uh, very important to understand especially from for uh, traffic and transportation engineers so what is the relationship between time in speed and space mean speed so time mean speed is uh, nothing but average of the spot speeds and space mean speed will be harmonic mean of the spot speeds so for example you can see here uh, if these are the speeds like 40, 49, 44, 65, 72, this is what you are observing uh, from the ground. You will simply take its average so you will get the time mean speed. That is what the definition is. But suppose for some reason you are not able to go to a height or a high rise building, you are not able to capture the photo and you are on the ground only and somehow you want the space mean speed from the observation of the ground. What you can do is you can take the spot speeds of the ground from the ground and simply take its harmonic mean as you can see that that I have done over here and that mean will give you nothing but space mean speed and this will be same as what you will observe suppose if you're going, going on a high-rise building and taking a picture still you will observe the same thing as uh, you will uh, observe from here also like if you take the harmonic mean also so this is another method of calculating space mean speed so I hope you are able to understand. I have told you two methods of finding space mean speed. First is that you go to a high rise building or to a helicopter, take a picture and then find the average of all the spot speeds, all the instantaneous speeds. And second method is you stand on the ground only, but instead of taking just an average, take the harmonic mean. So that will give you um, space mean speed. So I, I'm sure you're able to understand it.